blog post 10 years ago. Um, basically knew absolutely nobody, had three kids under the age of five um, and found it very difficult to get out and about. So I used free Facebook's capabilities to be able to network and grow my business. Um, I can tell you right now that I did a lot wrong before I did it right. <laughs> um, I learned the hard way. Um, and now I am incredibly passionate about helping people get there quicker because you're a business owner, uh, you've got no marketing budget, how on earth are you going to be able to um, reach a wider audience um, and do it with the right sort of etiquette? So um, there is a chat box. So if you want, you can go into the chat box and you can ask, your, uh, put questions in the chat box. Um, I do have Kate um, as a support at the moment. Kate is in the back end there. And I'm going to ask her to read me the questions. So as we go along, just so there isn't a breakup the entire time, because I really want to give you heaps of value today. Um, just ask your questions in there. And then there will be times where we'll stop and we'll break and I'll ask Kate um, and I'll answer all of them for you. All right, excellent. So um, yeah, just to let you know as well that this is being recorded. So if, if anybody would like the recording at the end, if you email me, I'll happily give it to you. Um, and if anybody has an issue with any, for any reasons for this to be used um, in my marketing, uh, please could you let me know. Um, so yeah, so today we're gonna cover um, some did you knows for Facebook. We're gonna um, cover the eight fundamentals of Facebook. Without these eight fundamentals, you will fail on Facebook, end of story. Um, and these are things that I've come up with. Um, we're gonna discuss the Facebook platform, its entire capabilities, uh, from personal profile to business page and groups. We're also gonna talk about generating leads, turning likes and engagement into paying clients. Um, and I'm really passionate in, I'm not, it, my biggest thing for you is it's not about how many likes you get. It's not how many followers you get. It's about how many paying clients you get. And to me, that's my biggest outcome for everyone. So um, I'm also going to give you some examples of how you would get leads or Facebook or the leads that are left on Facebook. Many people just leave leads there. They, they post, they engage, they do things, and then they just don't see a lead or they don't know what to do with it. So we'll discuss that today as well, as well as 12 reasons people miss out on um, getting clients on Facebook. 12 of the biggest reasons I find in, in working with people. So, um, all right, so we're going to screen share here. Um, and just checking, Kate, um, if you could just text me and let me know that you can see my presentation, that will be amazing. Excellent, thank you. All right, so as I said, as we go along, please just, um, please just write your questions in the chat box and Kate will read them to me when I ask. So that's super cool. Um, all right, so this is some of the did you knows. Did you know that 93% of small businesses prefer Facebook because it's more fun and entertaining and engaging? Now, the reason I write that is because it really is clear. If you understand that Facebook's value is fun, entertainment and engaging, it means you need to be fun, entertaining and engaging. That's its value. Um, so did you know that there are 2 billion monthly active users on Facebook? 2 billion. So the reason that one's there is surely your client is on there. I would say so. So the majority of them use Facebook to grow their business. Facebook can be an effective way to market and grow your business, but this can only be done if you know how to efficiently use it. We don't want to just be sitting there spending hours pulling our hair out, um, getting no result. It would, it would be pointless. Um, as a Facebook strategist, I help business owners identify income opportunities in their business and coach them on how to successfully manage their own Facebook profiles organically. Okay, so that's a little bit controversial for some because some believe that they need to gamble their hard-earned money away on Facebook ads. An example, yesterday a lady messaged me a screenshot, $350 spent in two days. She generated two not convert. Um, she's in an industry that I'm also in, um, and we do that. Uh, we can. Yes, it requires work, but it requires strategy. And I don't mind doing the work if I'm actually getting money out of at the end of the day. So there are over 60 million active business pages, but only 5 million do paid advertise, advertising. 
All right, I'm hoping it's not gonna break up anymore. Um, the average advert click through rate is 0.9%. So imagine if you did an advert click and the click through rate is less than 1%. That's scary. Okay. Remember Facebook is a business. So Facebook's going to encourage you to do Facebook advertising. They're going to say to you, do Facebook advertising because they want to take your money and they want you to believe that that's the only way that you can market your business. All right. 49% of users like a post to support a brand they like and trust and videos have the highest rate of engagement. Well, that's fantastic. Oh, there we go. Cool. All right. So how are we now, Kate? Just a thumbs up would be awesome. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So the eight fundamentals. Now, believe it or not, these fundamentals, unless you implement these in your business, you, your business will fail on Facebook. Okay. Number one, you have to know who you are and what you're about. Okay, number two is, is your ideal paying client because believe it or not, you deserve to earn money from giving your skills and sharing your skills with the world. Three is knowing your competition, stalking them. Four is branding consistency, which includes key messages. Five is having a strategic plan. Six is review for results and relationship building, so please respond. Seven is get them off Facebook and eight is have a professional profile. So we're gonna watch this quick video. Um, which is going to explain more. It's four minutes, guys, but it's quite valuable. wants their needs um, and how you can help them. Number three is competition. This isn't so we can copy. This is so that we can go, have a look at what it is they're doing and see if we can do to improve our online presence on Facebook. So I recommend go and have a little stalk, Facebook stalk, and see what your competitors or likely industries are doing. All right, we'll see how that stroke to here. I'll just go a little bit into it. All right, cool, let's just pause that. All right, no worries. So I might just go to some of the questions regarding those fundamentals over there, just to see which particular ones you would like more information on. Um, so let's have a look here. Uh, no, hold on. Questions for me, Kate. Hey, Kate, do you have any questions? Can you hear me? I'm mute now. No, I don't. Uh, um, uh, everyone's been asking just for a copy of the recording at the end, and they've just yes. um, asked if uh, da -da -da, uh, Kelsey's just asked if that um, YouTube clip can be drop boxed. Yeah, 100%. Cool. So I'll send links awesome. to all so of this. I'm just making note of all the email addresses. Yeah, I've got all of them. I have all of them. I actually have everyone's oh, cool. email addresses. Awesome. So that's so cool. All right. Thanks, Kate. So does anybody have any questions about any Wait. of this? Because believe it or not, this is incredibly um, important. Okay. Know who you are, who your ideal client, your competition, um, your branding consistency. See, now, when I say stalk people, you need to stalk them on Facebook because you want to make sure that your profile is standing out above everybody else's. Uh, when we talk about branding consistency, we're talking about colors and fonts, but we also talk about messages and we're talking about all your platforms. So if you go to your website, it feels the same as Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and how you are in person because that's how people have, um, that's how they build trust. 
Um, when we say have a strategic plan, for some of you, that's going to be a little bit, you know, you're going to know, oh, well, I don't really have a plan. I just go on and I just kind of wing it. Um, so as we go more in depth today, you'll kind of focus on um, what exactly I mean by that. But what we want when we're talking about a strategy is what is our intention of using Facebook? How much energy and effort are we going to do put in? What is going to be our result and how are we going to go about getting that? And that's sort of what I call it a sales funnel that we create, which is the, or like a client journey is what, where are we taking those people? So most people that I work with come to me and I look at it and they're doing all the right things on Facebook. They're just not doing it with a strategy or plan. So what they're doing is they're confusing the people that are watching and there's too much choice, there's too much confusion and they get left behind, okay? So number six is review results. So most of the people I work with do never go into their insights and have a look at the insights on their Facebook page and see what is working and what's not working. In your insights, you can have a look at um, your demographic. You can see which age group you're hitting. Is it the right age group? You can look at, are you posting at the right time of day? What posts content um, is working the best? Which seems to get the most engagement? Are your videos getting viewed for three to 10 seconds? Those are all sitting in your settings and your insights on your Facebook page. So it's important that once a week, I do it once a week, I go in and I analyze what I've been doing. The other part is respond. So many people go and they do things on Facebook, some with or without intention, and then they don't respond. So they don't take the person somewhere. So as I said, if there's an intention with your post and people are responding, you need to go back and you need to respond to them and then take them off. Now, do you respond to the ones that go, hey, you have a nice smile? <laughs> no, no need to respond to those ones. Just block. <laughs> but um, for the other ones that are genuinely like, like engaging with you, it is important that you actually respond and then take them somewhere. So either take them to the website, take them to booking a call with you, take them to your ebook, um, take them to an event that you're having. There always needs to be sort of that call to action. Um, getting them off Facebook, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. At the end of the day, Facebook is owned by Facebook. And even though Facebook is my business, I'm not silly. I know that when that, when, if Facebook was to go, which I do not believe, let me say this right now, I do not believe it's going anywhere. They're making way too much money. What business owner would get rid of a platform that has 93% of business owners choosing it. It's just not gonna happen. Um, they lost billions and billions of dollars over the one day that they were down, less than a day they were down. So I don't believe it's gonna happen. However, I'm not silly, you do need to get people off. So get them on the phone call, get them on the website, get them opting into your website and get those clients off Facebook. People wanna leave them there for too long and nurture them, people actually lose interest. We live in a I want it now world. So if they want answers, they want them now. So you need to solve their problems ASAP. And number eight is have a professional profile. And at the end of today, we'll talk about 12 reasons why people are missing out on clients. And generally it's because they do not have a professional profile. If, uh, if any of you saw that, um, that video that I did on, um, it was about groups and how you've got to be careful about the um, advice that you take from groups that went viral over the last couple of days. And I had three objections to it. And they were saying, you shouldn't judge a person's expertise by the condition of their social media. And I'm going to leave that one with you because um, yeah, I'm just going to leave that one with you. Happy to have a private convo if you want about that one. Um, okay, so this is basically how Facebook works. You have to have a personal profile before you have anything else, okay? So many people will go set up a business page as a personal profile, but they're missing out. And now I'll show you why. So you have to have a personal profile. Now, personal profiles are private unless you make them public. So depending on what parts or elements of it, they are personal and they're private. So you may opt then to have your contact details public or something just to friends. Um, please don't have your address showing, to the, showing publicly. Uh, mobile phones, if you are happy with that, I'm happy with that, my mobile number be public. But um, personal profiles are, are private unless you make them public, which means people have got to ask to be on there. Unless you post, you're opting to be public. So I hope that makes sense. And please, as I said, ask questions if you're not sure. 
So on your personal profile, you can have 5,000 friends. That's it. So when people say to me, should I just add anybody? No. You genuinely add friends or connections or like-minded people or influencers or um, you know, people that you genuinely are showing interest in because you're only limited to 5,000 people. Now, on the Gold Coast, there's some businesses that will not work with uh, people who have less than 1,500 friends, personal friends on Facebook. Why? Because they are interested in your network. They want to know that you have friends and friends with benefits, okay? Um, then we've got your bio. So there's a section on your personal profile for your bio. Now, many people do not have this filled in. It's on the front section and also in the back end, um, in, the about, in the about section. You have your contact details. As I said, with each of your contact details, you can opt to have it public, meaning someone does not have to be your friend in order to get those details. Or it can, you can be on, uh, on only me so no one sees it, or you can have it on friends, which means someone has to be accepted by you as a friend to have those details. Please go and check your home address is not public or to friends. I don't believe it should be even open to friends because no one's that strict with their friends. Uh, business details. You get to put all your business contact details on there, which is super cool. Your website, um, your groups, your other socials can all go on there, including your booking calendar links as well. All your digital links, as I mentioned. You've got nine featured photos that you can put on there as well. Your relationship status. Um, your location, family members, there's life, uh, life events, that should say life events. You can check in to let people know where you are and obviously you need to understand your privacy settings for that. You can run events of your personal profile but you do need to be careful when you do that. There's your privacy settings which you do need to go through and read thoroughly to make sure that you fully understand all your settings. There's tagging. Again, you need to understand um, all your settings with tagging and tag review. And of course, people can message you. And now, in the olden days, people could message you unless they were your friend, but nowadays they can. So you do need to know how to block, to report, um, and to close those messages straight away. Um, you've got a Facebook story now, which Facebook brought in to, um, com to compete with Snapchat because Snapchat's all about MFO content, which lasts for 24 hours. So that's why they bought in Facebook story. Uh, you've got your profile preferences. You can put in your favorite quote. There's a section on details about you. There's your birthday. Um, yeah, so basically the reason I um, have bought this in, because some people don't know the value of that personal profile. People will stalk who the business owner is because people want to work with people they know, like, and trust. Now I went to a BNI networking group and there was a business coach there who, who after his elevator pitch, I thought this guy's amazing. I need to work with him. I went home, took his business card, tried to add him as a friend and I couldn't add him as a friend because he didn't allow anybody unless they were a friend or a friend of a friend to invite him as a friend. Well, he lost my business. Like I couldn't add him as a friend. So he lost me. Then there's been cases where I'll go on and I'll go, oh, that psychologist is amazing. I'd love to work with her. Um, let me go get her number. She didn't have her, her business uh, pages attached to her personal profile and didn't have a contact telephone number. So I wasn't able to contact her. So they've lost my business. They've got none of their, none, none of their bio filled out or else none of their details about them. So you go on and everything is phantom. And it's social media. People think if it's phantom or it's empty, they, get, they feel like you're a little bit spammy or you might be, um, you know, a rogue person on Facebook or have a fake profile. So it is important to have all those things set up. Right, so your business page um, is a little bit different. Cool. You've got your fans. So your business page is public. So it's just like Google, you can search it search things, okay? You've got fans. So you've got friends on your personal profile, you've got fans, and they are unlimited. You can have as many as you like on your business page, and you do not need to be friends with them to have fans. And this is, this is one of the reasons why business, you have to have a business page as opposed to a personal profile as a business page. You've then got 
reviews. Okay, so you can't have reviews on your personal profile. And people, like there's something like 89% of people buy after reading a review. They'll only read a review before they buy. They've got a click to contact button. So there's a messages button and then you can choose another one. So there's actually two click to contact buttons. And again, it depends on your strategy. Where are you taking them? You're taking them to a call, to an email, to your website, and you've got to be careful you're not going to lose them by making them click to the wrong place. So you can put in a physical address. And again, the amount of people that have put in their home address, which is now public on a business page, I highly recommend you do not do that. You can put in your area code now. Uh, you do not need to put in your physical address. There's also a page story. Okay, uh, Kate has a quick question for us. Yeah, go for it, Kate. Uh, just before yes, just before you move on, Kelsey's just wanting to know um, whether or not you accept any anyone as a friend and don't have a purely private page. Okay, cool. Yeah, I can answer that now. Thank you, Kate. All right, so a good question. This really depends on how you want to run your profile, and this I do strategically with all my clients. I have clients that are in the middle of DVOs, child protection orders. I work with probably eight psychologists who have to set up profiles and school teachers. Now, they need to keep a very professional profile. Okay. Now, again, if you understand your personal profile settings, you can actually on your personal profile invite other people onto your personal profile. But when you post, only post your family and friends stuff to family and friends. So you'll have to go and explore your privacy settings. But you can have it so that if something's posted and it's public, anyone can see. But if you go post and it's just to... Um, you only want it to be to your family or your friends. You can actually set them up as subgroups, okay? So when you fully understand the privacy settings on your personal profile, you can have a profile um, without... You can have a, a, a public profile and still have it personal, okay? Thank you. So um, the only thing with that, Facebook, it's against Facebook standards for you to have more than one personal profile. You can be reported. Um, and if somebody reports a multiple profile of you, um, Facebook can ban you. So you, you shouldn't have two personal profiles. And you're not allowed to set up a business page as a personal profile. It's against their standards. In saying that, I'll let you know that there are a couple of cases where I've set up a separate personal profile for psychologists um, for obvious reasons, okay? They work with some Looney Tunes um, and they have to have two different things. But their names are completely changed and it means now that they have to run two personal profiles. There were two other people, the one was an accountant and the other one was actually a pesticide company. They um, set up two personal profiles. Eventually they went with only one because they said it was too hard to manage two personal profiles. They just reckoned that they would have a more professional personal profile. And at the end of the day, people wanna buy from people they know, like and trust. So your friends are likely to support you. Uh, your family are likely to support you. And I really believe that people are often missing out on leads or trying to generate leads. Um, and the reason they're missing out is because they're reaching too far. Why aren't they starting in their own backyard? And I'm not talking about hounding. I'm just talking about reminding your friends and family of who you are. If they're your friends and they're your family, they love and support you. And if they don't, they shouldn't be, on your, they shouldn't be a friend on your profile either. So <laughs> block them. So let's get back to the business page. So we've got page story. Uh, you've got a response rate as well. So Google will judge you on how quickly you respond. So you will go up quicker in the search engines depending on how quickly you respond to messages. Um, there are three search categories on your Facebook page. Most people have got one. Most people have the incorrect search categories. Um, there is a, there's also a page story. Not many people use it, but I just, there's a little button that says click page story. And if it's available, just click it because there are some people who prefer to watch stories. There's an opportunity there for you to run events. Um, you can set up your services or your shop. You can run offers. Um, there's now a community tab as well, meaning that if people tag you in things, they, it, will, it, it now shows a collage of people who have um, tagged you or supported you or included you in, in, in posts. 
which is super cool because that's, that's social proof. Um, you can also link to your groups. Um, there's a separate inbox, which you can set up your own messaging response. So no, you do not need a bot, but you can set up your own messenger messaging response. I can tell you now many people are losing out on leads because they have bots. People do not want to be talked to a bot. They just don't. Um, they, want to be, they want to speak to the business owner. Um, there's also page roles and administration. And the new rule is, is that Facebook is now showing the location of all administrators. So if you have someone offshore managing your account and posting on your socials, Facebook will now tell your uh, fans um, who they are on and who they are and what they're doing. And the reason they're doing that is because some people are talking and building relationships with, with what they think is the business owner on Facebook um, and it in fact isn't. And a good example of that is I, I ran into a life coach um, and he was doing so well and I said, oh, you're doing so well. You've got thousands of people and he gives away these free sort of like gratitude things to everybody online. And I said to him, how are you managing the thousands and thousands of these gratitudes that are coming through? Um, and he's a good looking dude and he has thousands of women who, who want these like blessings and from him constantly and these gratitude. And he said to me that he has a female PA who does it for him. And I just went, <laughs> can you imagine if all these girls thinking that there's this hot dude, like giving him all these gratitude individual things. And although she was apparently like a life coach herself, she was qualified. Imagine if they knew it was coming from someone else. So Facebook are handling that objection um, by now declaring it on the pages. So let's have a look. You can obviously do paid ads and boost. And I'll tell you right now, please do not do boosts. It, it's Facebook, they are bribing you. Please never do a boost. And if you're going to do paid advertising, you have got to have your basic, your basic Facebook set up 100% along with um, a fail-proof strategy. And then you still need to get some coaching and ads as well because else you're just throwing away your hard-earned money. Um, a recent stat by a Facebook ad specialist said to me that unless you're prepared to gamble with $4,000 before getting your first return on investment, um, people really shouldn't be doing it. And they all acknowledge that they should be working with me before they do Facebook ads. Um, and that's a true story, but they don't tell their people that. They don't set up Facebook pages like I do. It's a completely different thing. Um, nor do they do strategies. Um, and of course, yes, you can tag your page depending on your settings. And then there's the good old A word, which is algorithm. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about the algorithm now. The algorithm is a prediction. Facebook has to predict what you like and what you want to see on Facebook. So when you put all your data into your personal profile, it starts to match you up with people on Facebook. It, it builds up a DNA of who you are, what you're interested in, and what you want to see on your timeline. When you have your business page and you post on your business page, that is then putting in the DNA for what your business is, what you're interested in. Now, when people like, comment, engage, and put emojis, and when, there's engage, when there is action on your page, so people are leaving reviews, people are commenting, they're inboxing you, Facebook goes, hey, these people are really well liked, so I need to start matching people and putting them together. So I almost, I say it's like plenty of fish. It's like a dating thing. It matches people up together. So if you don't have the right things put in your personal profile, and if you don't have the right things put in your business page, the algorithm is making you lose leads and it's not matching you with the right people because your messaging is incorrect. You don't have a strategy. You haven't got it set up properly. So everything's just getting left on the floor. Okay. Um, cool. And of course, you can schedule on a business page. So you can't schedule on a personal profile because they want you to be organic. That you can schedule in business pages and in groups. So before we go into groups, I'm just going to check with Kate if there's any more questions. Uh, any more questions, Kate, or can I carry on with groups? 
All right, cool. So groups, um, so groups are different because groups, you can decide what they are. So people go, well, what's the difference between a group and a business page? Groups are all about community. It's about attracting like-minded people together and then nurturing them in one space. So I almost say that your business page is kind of like a website, but your group is more like a tribe, okay, a community. So you can decide on whether or not you want it public, closed, or secret. And people who have groups, they decide on what they want in their groups. Now, people in those groups are called members. So many people use the wrong words when they're using Facebook. So I hope that this is making sense. We've got friends, we've got fans, and we've got members. There's a description in there where it's very important that you go through and you actually uh, put in the description of um, what the group is for, who you are, what the group is for, what it's about, and what the rules are. What etiquette is there? What rules are there? Um, and what is allowed or not allowed? And then it's important that you obviously, um, that you follow those rules of the etiquette. So when you go into other groups, you have to make sure you follow their rules, or you can have your own group and set up your own rules. But again, all of these take time. Engaging in groups takes time, and starting your own groups take, takes time, and there's huge value in it, but you have to have a funnel of, okay, what am I going to do? What is the point of this? There's no point if it doesn't generate you dollars in the end. There's also categories as well. So if it's a public group, people can search by category. There's also administrative roles and you can have various admins monitoring the group. And again, they need to have job descriptions. And I do recommend that people do have another administrator um, on their groups, in their groups, for if they get spammed for a week, if they get blocked for a week by Facebook, which can help, which can happen. You can also set events up inside those groups. There's also a file section, which many people don't know about. You can schedule in there. You can also direct message people through there um, and you can tag people. Cool, so I'm just gonna, because this is a huge bonus. With far, as far as groups go, what happens is, um, if you have a public group, you can attract like-minded people into there. And if you build relationship with them, then there's an opportunity there for you to sell to them. All right. So that's one way that you can obviously um, get clients out of that. Then the other thing is to monetize your group in that you could have a community, but they actually have to pay to be in that group. Now, nobody's going to give you money for nothing. You have to build um, trust with them beforehand. So I'll just see... Um, all right, so let's just do questions quickly with Kate. Okay, um, just going back um, about uh, wanting to know, uh, tagging you, um, tagging your page. Apparently people are doing it, but um, Susie can't figure out how they're doing it, what, what the setting is for that. Okay, cool. There's two ways that you can tag a page. The one is to go at the at sign and then use the URL and it'll come up as a blue highlighted strip. Some people don't know that you have to click that. So I always go click here and I put arrows down or across because some people don't know to click that. Now the one where you get the little pop up where it's your face and your page name and it says how many likes you've got, please like here. You actually have to go to at the top of Facebook, the URL, the URL, which will say, Facebook slash Su Susie slash and your page name, you have to copy that URL and put that URL, put a space and that will pop up. Um, and at the end of this, guys, I am offering everybody a free 30 minute call with me. So um, I'm happy to handle, I'm happy to you know, answer all those questions directly with you as well. Um, is there any more, Kate? Uh, yeah, there was um, just the same... Allied to, people, allied to people sharing our posts rather than commenting. Sorry, just say that again. I had to step away for one second. I, 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 this was from Elizabeth. Yep. Apply. Does, does the same apply to people sharing our posts rather than commenting on going back on what you were saying earlier? 
Okay, so applying and sharing, commenting on the post. Um, Elizabeth, just if you could just write a little bit more for me in there, then I'll get back to that one if you don't mind. Um, or as I said, I will be holding a 30 minute call for each of you individually, which is what I'll offer at the end. So um, cool. So I'm just gonna, were there any more Kate? Um, I'm just going back. Um, I think the rest of the, uh, can you also, um, uh, who's this? Uh, Susie has asked, um, do you know how to get insights? Um, Cause you can't get insights for your profile. And she's also asked if you can talk about using messenger. Okay, cool. So um, insights are on your page um, and you can get insights in your group as well. They're in your settings. Um, and as I said, I'm happy to show you um, uh, if you're not sure where that is, but that's in your settings on your page. Your settings on your personal profile and business page on two separate places. Uh, on your personal profile, it's um, a drop down arrow and on your business page, it's the top right hand side. And always use a laptop when you're looking for insights or trying to work on the back end. Always. Um, Interesting. The, the other one with messaging response is, yeah, you can go again into your settings on your page, down the left hand tab, you can go to messaging response and you can write, um, you can set up how you want the automated response to come in. So for example, a car mechanic might write, sorry, my, my hands are down the engine at the moment, can't get back to you. Please phone my receptionist on this number and she'll book you in now. Um, so you can make personalize your own message response. If somebody jumps onto your page and asks you a question, you don't get penalized according to um, you don't get penalized according to the um, the page response time. All right, so I'm going to try pay this. And Kate, if you could just let me know if the volume's loud enough, and if it isn't, then I'll just send it to everybody. Yes, it's okay. I'll let you know over the video. No. Okay, cool. So Kate's saying that you can't hear that. So no worries. I'm going to send that all through to you guys. Um, that's super cool. But if you just have a look at that little picture over there um, at the back, you can see that um, there's kind of like a little funnel and it talks about how um, when we're posting, there needs to be intention. And your intention is it's brand awareness. It's bringing forward your unique selling point, your unique value proposition. It's to build trust. You need to be consistent so that you're reliable. Um, you need to add value um, and your messaging needs to be clear, all right? And you need to give away freebies. People love freebies, all right? And another way to do it is to do Facebook Lives. So again, uh, when you book my, uh, a call with me at the end, if you choose to, I'll give you my free ebook, which is 21 Content Ideas That Outsmart the Algorithm, which talks about this kind of content, okay? So from there, only 50% of those people who are constantly seeing you will actually engage. If you're lucky, 50% will engage. They'll like, they'll comment, they'll share, and you'll respond to those people. From there, only 50% of those people will move, move on. And they will move on to either phone you, to email you, to go onto your website, uh, to take advantage of one of your programs or your database. So when I work with people, this is the funnel here that we create. We create the strategy, which has intention. It's the client journey. What is the funnel that we're taking your clients on? How do we generate those leads? And then how do we get sales from them at the end? So we'll send you all of this information, guys, and any other training I have, you're welcome to. Um, but... Um, it's just important to know that if you just do the top bit and you don't have the strategy, it's a little bit, it's a little bit more difficult to take them on that journey and then get them off Facebook. And it is unique to everybody. So this is why it's a bit difficult to talk about a strategy to everybody because we've got so many different people in the group today. Uh, there we go. So this over here is an example of how you would generate um, how you would generate uh, free leads or Facebook. So if you have a look over here, okay, for example, in a, uh, like on a business page, in a community group, or in a classified group, a person might go, hey, I'm looking for some help with growing my business. I've just started, I've got no marketing budget, does anyone have recommendations? Now, someone else in the group might go, Lizzie, action sold your own. 
Okay, so she's referring me now, all right? So because I've been posting and because I've added value and I've had my unique selling points um, and I've, I'm, I'm constantly on Facebook and I'm constantly pitching and people are seeing me and I'm consistent all the time, you start to build trust, you get a reputation and people are going to refer you. And this is where these ads come in. So they'll go at. Now, most people do nothing, okay, when they see the at and they get tagged. In fact, a lady this morning, I tagged her. She's a naturopath. I tagged her in a post. There were 10 other people tagged above her. And she wrote in the post, hey, Chantel, it seems like there's about 10 other people above me who've already, who've already put their names down. And I just went, oh, my gosh, here is an opportunity for you to go, hey, this is my niche. This is my point of difference. This is my unique selling point. Maybe we'll be a click. Maybe we won't. But at least pitch, like at least, you know, say who you are and what you do. Um, so, yeah, so the person will tag you. So this is what I do. I'll go, hey, I'm Chantel Girardi. So I'll tag myself back. I'm a Facebook strategist and I'll tag my page. And uh, Susie, you'll be able to see at the end there how I've done that. The at Chantel.Girardi.coach, which is my, um, that's my URL for my business page. Um, so I'll go, hey, I'm Chantal Girardi, a Facebook strategist. I empower business owners with the skills and strategy to successfully manage their own Facebook business profiles. Discover how I have helped other businesses by reading my reviews on. So I'm always sending them somewhere, okay? Call to action, where am I sending them? For me, if people are wanting to work, I know that if they read my reviews, they will book a call with me because when they read my reviews, they can see I've helped other businesses um, so they will do it. So this is part of my strategy. And as I said, this is how I work with people to come up with their own unique strategy. So when you pitch, what is your point of difference? What problem is it that you solve? And then where are you going to take them to compel them to move on to, to, to the next level and actually call you? All right. So second example here is on your personal profile or business page you know, or in, in a group, I might post and I might go, hey, did you know that you may not be getting found because you have incorrectly set up your page, have the wrong search category set up, there are three, and are not aware of how to use it to get more clients. It's not your fault. You can't be good at everything. Let me help. Okay. So, oh, let's go backwards. Well, let's go backwards. Cool. So, People are now, they're going to comment, they're going to like, they're going to share, or they're going to make an inquiry. So it is important for a person, it is important for a person to look at, at that they're going to like, they share or comment or inquiry. So now I'm going to go in, I'm going to look at those people. Who's liked, who's shared, who's commented, who's acquired. So I stalk people who've responded to me. Because if they've taken the time to engage, they might just be nosy or genuinely their leads there. I don't just go onto Facebook and post for no reason. I post with intention to add value and then get clients. I mean, isn't that why we're there? So I will go look and people that are constantly liking and sharing, I may private message and go, hey, would you like to book a, a complimentary 30 minute discovery call? Let's have a chat. I'll be happy to answer any of your questions and I'll offer you an opportunity to work with, with you. If they comment, I'll obviously um, comment back and or if they make an inquiry. But where am I taking them? For me, I take them two places. I take them, either I take them to me to booking a call or I take them to my Facebook page because I want them to read my reviews and look at my events and see my posts. Or I take them to my website so that they can subscribe and subscribe with all my resources so that I get the email address because I'm not stupid. If Facebook goes down, I want email addresses. Because they may not be ready to buy from you right now. Some people like to watch you. They want to watch. They want to see how consistent you are. Um, and what they do is they, um, they're not ready quite yet. But if you are inconsistent and if you don't show up again, they'll just forget about you because we have got like three second brain span. So we want to make sure that we're there all the time. And if we're not there right now, give, the, give away some free resources, give away an ebook, send them to your website um, and get their email address so you can keep them interested, if that makes sense. So yeah, get them on Facebook and onto your database as soon as possible. So we've had a question, is it okay to message the person privately? 
All right, so this depends on where these leads are coming from, all right? If somebody says, PM me, DM me, please send me information, then yes, all right? If someone, if it is in a, a group, you are not allowed to message people privately unless they've given you permission to do so, all right? So I say that your posts need to evoke curiosity. If your posts evoke curiosity, like for example, the example here that I've given you, hey, it's not your fault, you may have set, been set up your page incorrectly, that's gonna evoke curiosity. People are gonna go, oh my gosh, there are three, three categories. What's like really, are mine on the right ones? Am I missing out because mine are in the wrong categories? Um, we had an accountant who put his under a comp as a company when he should have been as under accountant. Um, but he put it in as a company. No one would search for a company for an accountant. Um, so in a group, you can't do it unless they ask for it. Um, so you have to go into the description of the group. Look at the description of the group. Some will say you're not allowed to post your page. You're not allowed to post your, pers your um, website. Um, so you have to, I read, and yes, it's time consuming, but you know what? For me, all those groups are networking groups. They are all networking groups. I don't have to get off my bum on a Tuesday morning and go to a networking group from seven till nine um, and pay $30 to go and sit and listen to a bunch of people where if I'm in the right group, where my target market's in that group, I want to get to know that group genuinely. I genuinely want to add them value. I genuinely want to help them um, and I'll offer them the opportunity to work with me. So yeah, Kate, if there's any other questions, just send them through via Messenger. That's working well. Thank you. Um, so yeah, so these are the reasons, my biggest reasons why people may be missing out um, on business. Uh, just having a look to see if Kate has any more. No, right, cool, thank you. All right, so this is a bit harsh, okay, but why people might be missing out on business and it's because they've got an unprofessional profile. Now, what I'm gonna say right here is it's not your fault, okay? Facebook seriously is not our error. Okay, I'm 43 years old. Facebook's really not my era. So I really admire anyone older than me who's even giving it a crack. Like, but it is a phenomenal way to get clients and it is a phenomenal and cheap and effective way to network. It just, we just have to learn how to do it. Okay, so I'm not, I, I never say to people, there's no wrong, there's just better. So these are my, if it's, if it's unprofessional, okay. It's unprofessional if you have a personal profile set up as a page or if you don't have a, a business page. I had a lawyer this week contact me, um, a lawyer. She's the only lawyer in this whole town in Northern Australia. Her Facebook po page was broken. If you click on it, it goes to a broken link. Um, she thought it was a page. She thought that was a page. That's not a page. Can you imagine if someone's trying to high profile people are trying to employ a lawyer and their page isn't a page? Okay. Your privacy settings are too high, leading to potential clients not being able to contact you. And that was another thing that I mentioned earlier. So um, sometimes your privacy settings are so high that people can't add you as a friend. They can't get hold of you. You may not have your mo any mobile number there. Your email address isn't up. Your contact us isn't up. All those links may not be working. Your, your privacy settings may be set too high. Uh, you don't have contact details or working links to your business. So that's briefly what I was talking about as well. Now, the amount of broken links that I find um, in all areas of your business, please check your links to everything. Uh, you forget to remind people, friends and family of what you do and what you're looking for, um, that you're looking for business. So as I said, people come to me and they say, hey, I want you to fill my retreat. Like I've got a retreat in Bali and I want you to fill my retreat. I'm trying to advertise to all over the world and find people all over the world that want to come to my retreat in Bali. And it's going to be like $3,000. And I'm like, why is a stranger going to give you $3,000 if they've never seen you in their life before? You've built no trust with them. You've never been in front of them, but you're going to gamble money, put it on an ad to go worldwide to attract people. People don't do that. They're not going to take away five days to go to a retreat with somebody or um, a life coach if they haven't got social proof, credibility, and haven't built a relationship with them. So we really need to be on our personal profile, just reminding our friends and our family what we do. 
say, hey guys, I'm about to you know, do a webinar. I've got all these people coming on. I'm super excited. I can't wait to help people generate more leads in Facebook. You know? Um, so we, people forget to do that on their personal profile. So your personal profile is about you, the person, but your business is part of what you do. And your friends and family will refer you. Your business page is about your business. But this is something else people do, is they don't ever put themselves on their business page. And people only want to buy from people they know, like, and trust. So if you have not added yourself as a team member, or if you um, haven't included yourself in your about story, if you do not have a bio, if you haven't told, told your why, or what your story is, or haven't included your pitch, or so, social proof of credibility on your business page, people are not going to trust you. It's just going to be meh because you'll go on and accountant, 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 accountant. It's all going to be meh. It's like, okay, what are we going to do to, to help us to stand out? Okay, so the next reason is you have set up multiple personal profiles or business pages confusing the algorithm and anyone searching for your business. So we explained the algorithm beforehand. My algorithm works for me. Every single person in, who talks about social media or Facebook comes onto, into my timeline because I'm constantly engaging in that. So it constantly comes back onto my timeline. If you don't know Facebook or group etiquette, you risk getting spammed or blocked. So many people make mistakes. They don't do the right thing. Facebook blocks them or groups do. You post content like a social media marketer with no education, authority, relationship building, no you or humor instinct. I mean, as I said, um, if you do take advantage of the 30 minute call at the end, um, you will get my ebook on 21 content ideas that outsmart the algorithm. Um, but if you go and get a social media marketer, they will go, come to this accountant. He will do your books. He will do your tax. And every single person will have the same message. Every single person will have the same stock-free images. And there's no you in it. There's no organic. And it loses its, it loses its feel. And people won't, won't trust it. Your business page is incorrectly set up in the wrong category, which we spoke about. The location's wrong, believe it or not. And this one over here, your business name. The amount of times this week alone, I've changed three business pages' names and it has changed their business. Now you're all freaking out going, this woman's on acid. How the hell is she doing that? I'm not talking about changing your name as such. I do change the page name, but I optimize it so it's better found on Facebook because there are some non-negotiables like location. Um, you've set up the privacy so high, you've set your privacy so high that businesses can't tag your business page and they can't contact your page. You're unclear on what your point of difference is, your unique selling point, Facebook sales funnel, conversion strategy, or who your audience is. You've got no call to action and people just go, what the? What the? Not sure. And they just scroll right past you. You don't post consistently. Um, you don't answer your messages in your inbox. Uh, one of the mechanics I worked with, he had a 118 day response rate. Do you think anybody on the side of the road is going to call a mechanic who has a 118 day response rate? Um, your posts aren't engaging and that's because you haven't worked with me. Um, and the algorithm works against you. You don't understand. You don't understand notifications or leads on Facebook. So you don't actually recognize them. You don't see them and then you don't know what to do with them. And you lose the person. Now people say, I don't want to bother people who are not interested in what I'm offering. If your messaging is clear and you have a funnel and your messaging is clear, you will only attract the right people and heaps of them. Heaps. So I hope that that has been like, insanely valuable for you. Um, I'll put my video on again. I'll just see if Kate has any more message. So you can see I've been pulling out my hair while I'm doing this because I just get so excited. So a couple of things, like for those of you like who don't know where to find me, my email address is, uh, my website is on there. Um, I have heaps of resources on there. Uh, yes, I can. Okay, there's another question, but I'll go through this first and then those people who need to leave can leave. So for those of you, as I said beforehand, I, book, I offer a free Facebook health check. I will genuinely give you tips. I'm all about adding heaps and heaps of value. 
um, and that's what I will do. When you book that check, you will also get a free ebook, and you can do all of that on the chantelgerardi.com.au um, page. You'll see there's a book booking link there. So book a call with me. I'm happy to answer any more questions that you may have. I will get, send this recording out um, maybe very much later today because um, I've got to wait for it to download. It does take a while. It might even be on Monday. I do apologize. But if you go onto that website, there are free resources. There are live videos. There are podcasts. There are training in YouTube. There are training videos. Some of them are very old. I have very short hair. <laughs> and they were before, <laughs> three years ago before I met my partner. So I was about three kgs lighter. That's okay. Um, but they're real and they're raw. Um, and each of them adds huge value. In fact, there is a training video on there, which is called The Power of the Finger, which talks about the Facebook algorithm and how it works. Like there's a whole training video. It's for free. It's on YouTube. Um, there's one on, on content. There's one on the difference between a personal profile and a business page. Um, so yeah, like I give it all for free, but at the end of the day, like I'm a Facebook strategist and the reason I changed my name to strategist from coach to strategist was because I realized that coaching is one thing, but the strategy is what actually gets people paying clients. So for those who are interested, um, a template for a strategic plan, no, because I'm gonna answer that one now publicly. I cannot have a, a template for a strategic plan. Every industry is different and everybody has a different amount of time that they want to spend. So a strategic plan means how many clients do you want? Who are those clients? How much time do you want to spend on Facebook? What are your existing programs? How can we funnel them? Like, and then what are the call to actions? And where do you want to take them? And what are you going to give them? And then how are you going to repurpose to them? Um, and if they're not ready to buy from you right now, where, um, how do you keep them? So that's kind of like how it is. So that would be the template there. I've just told you what the template is. That would be the template. but as a business owner, if you work on your own, on your own funnels, you're likely to shoot yourself because you're working against yourself um, rather than working with somebody that sort of has an outside artist perspective. And what I know is how to create income opportunities using Facebook. So um, any tips on getting an advert account, Ariane says it. Oh, no, Facebook ads are not, I've done two Facebook ads courses and I'm not, not happy with, Facebook ads manager at all. So I don't deal with it at all. I don't do any ads at all. I just did it because I wanted to make sure that I knew what other people were doing. Um, the algorithm is a training video in YouTube. So please go and look on that because that will help. Um, and multiple profiles. There is a training video on personal profile versus business page. So if you go onto YouTube and look for that one, that one's on there as well. Um, and Kate, I might get you to that little template for a strategic plan, which I rambled off and then said, well, that's actually it. Maybe Kate, if you can write that up for me, that would be awesome. <laughs> that way I've got a written one for that. Um, but if it's okay, I'm just going to just, just mention how you can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. So for those of you who are interested in working with one-on-one, -on -one, and if you don't and you want to get off right now, that's okay. Go to, go to my website and grab everything. But for those of you who want to work one-on-one, -on -one, uh, basically I go through your personal profile, your business page, and I look at your entire business and I work out what is the best way for you to create income using free Facebook. Um, and because I know the, fat pla the platform so well and I know what people want, that is what I do. So um, we do your personal profile, business page. We work out a funnel for you. You test and trial everything. We do it together, me and you sitting next to each other, all like this through Zoom. We actually sit together and we work from beginning to end and you trial everything. I do it according to your level. I almost said fitness level because of my other business. We do it towards your social media level and skills. And um, so, um, and yeah, and we go through events. We go through groups, monetizing groups. Are we going to get you a public group? Are, how to use public groups? Are you going to have your own public group? Um, we go through um, private groups. How are you going to monetize groups? Well, how would that look? How are you going to get people off Facebook? We go through all those options, everything that we spoke about, and you test and trial everything. So the program is six hours in total. So if you're on the Gold Coast, you can come to me at Flex Workspace Burley, and we do three two-hour sessions fortnightly in person at Flex. For those of you who are online, we do six one-hour sessions uh, weekly. 
one hour sessions online. And for the remainder of about four weeks, I give you additional support. So you can send me emails, ask me for support. But as I said, you are actually in those times in between, you actively already working on your profile. So if it's a week or a fortnight in between, you are actually working on your content, working on your funnel, working on everything. So when you come to me again, we're ready to move to the next level. And we see what you're comfortable with and what you understand or don't understand. And I teach you how to read insights as well. So, that entire program's $1,500. I offer a payment plan of $150 a week over 10 weeks. So if anybody is interested in doing it, um, in an email that I will send out to all of you, there will be a, I think it says work with Chantel. There's a work with Chantel link. You can basically click on the link and it takes you through everything. It sets up your payment plan. Um, you can download your workbook. You get all your free resources. Um, you get booked in and we're all ready to go. Um, and as I said, for those of you not ready right now, and that's okay, jump onto my website and book a free 30 minute call regardless. Um, and as, as I said, you'll get the ebook, all these other resources, all on my website, YouTube channel. Um, are there any other questions there, Kate? Um, I might, maybe if anyone does have a question now, maybe unmute yourself. I know we have sort of just gone over time, but if you'd like to unmute yourself and ask any questions quickly, I can give you about five minutes before I go pick my daughter up from school. Okay, no other questions. So is there anyone who'd like to unmute themselves? Can we pay that free session forward to someone else? Yes, I offer, um, so yes, you can pay that free session forward to anybody else. Yes, you can, 100%. Um, believe it or not, I probably do about 10, 30 minute sessions per week and I might only convert one of those people and I give value to absolutely everybody. You will leave there with one, two, three pieces of like killer information. Uh, one guy yesterday, he, one change that he made, he ended up getting 200, right, 200 more people on his page um, and he got a review within two minutes and he, and he said, oh no, it's so difficult to get reviews and within two minutes he got a review. And we didn't even ask for it. So, um, yeah, happy to um, do it. As well as that $1,500, guys, for those sessions, it can be for you. It can be for your VA, your PA, your administrator, your partner. And you can do it together. I don't charge extra. Um, it, uh, your team can sit in on that call if you like. It's all good. Um, I do it for many gyms. We've got actual teams that do it. So if there's no more questions, guys, as I said, just look out for that email. I will put in all those links. I'll put in everything. But if you can't wait, jump onto the website. Um, and for those of you who are interested um, and you want to sign up right now, I do have a two to three week waiting list. So um, I'd say book now if you know that that's what you want to do. If you don't want to wait anymore, uh, let's have a look. I can probably look at the chat bar myself now. Let's have a look. Yeah, awesome. Cool. Thanks, guys. I'll just go through. Excellent. Excellent, guys. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm just having a quick look. Uh, yeah, cool. Awesome. Yeah, and sorry about the videos at the beginning, guys. You never know with the bloody, um, the, um, yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks. I know we've just gone over, but I just thought I'd just have a quick look and just see if there's any more people I can help. But that's super cool, guys. So I'll leave it there. And as I said, uh, yeah, go onto the website. You can book that session right now, guys, without me sending you an email. You can go on to the website, um, chantelgerardi.com.au, um, and you can book. Awesome, and you can book that. Um, you can book that that session, and it says book a chat with Chantal. I think if you just scroll down at the website, you'll find it there somewhere, um, and it'll take you straight to my booking calendar for that thirty minute session. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks again so much. Um, I hope that you had heaps and heaps of information. Um, I just can't help myself. And seriously, if you've taken something from today um, that you can implement and run a more successful. A Facebook profile that's genuinely going to generate your leads and help your business and help you be able to help more people, then that's just going to make me so happy. So um, have an awesome, awesome weekend, guys, and we'll chat real soon.
Thank you, Chantal. That was lovely. So much.